Hey guys, Ma here. I'm coming here. I'm coming to you with the uh, Cinema 4D tutorial. It's gonna be a text tutorial on how to do pretty much a simple text effect in Cinema 4D. Don't see it that often. Uh, we won't be using the Razzy or Griebler for this. We're gonna be using uh, two two effects that come with the program. Uh, you will notice that I'm using the Windows. Uh, classic version because well my computer seems to lag whenever I try to record so let's go ahead and open up our Cinema 4D here I'm gonna be using R14 but you should have no problem with uh, this tutorial on I know R11 or higher uh, I'm not gonna load a, a light studio here because I have no need to but if you're using this tutorial for a project obviously you would open up your light studio here so I'm gonna go up here to the MoGraph tab go down to MoText and I'm gonna type in to it here for tutorial uh, let's go to the def tab here which pretty much expands the text I'm gonna go to about 75 no let's go about 55 yeah it's pretty good alright and go ahead and pick your font uh, I like this one here plus it's right there I'm feeling kinda lazy Alright, so I'm going to duplicate this layer. Uh, you can do that by pressing Control J. Uh, my bad, this isn't Photoshop. Control C, Control V, or you can go to your Edit tab here and I'll delete this. Select the mode text, copy, paste. Same thing, shortcut is Control C, Control V and I'm gonna go back to the first text here I'm gonna go down to the caps tab make sure you select it go to the caps tab here I'm gonna go to cap and caps already there and what this allows you to do is basically this layer here is gonna be the inside layer and I'm gonna go to the top layer I'm gonna go to fill it and fill it and now this layer the top layer is now your outline see how it's indented in there you can see it a bit right there so I'm just gonna make that a little bit more noticeable and pull it outwards like so and now we have a nice little indentation indentation on our text uh, I'm gonna rename this name this outline and it's pretty much pointless to rename this one. We already know what it is. Uh, now I'm gonna go down here to create new material. Uh, let's go ahead and right go over here to the color tab. Click on the material image here. Right click, and uh, I'm gonna go to not with a soft shadow. And I think I want, let's see, you know, I wouldn't mind this actually being white, a little bit of off-white here, closer to the gray area. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my material down here that I just created. And I'm going to go ahead and drag it to the first layer. So now this color is active on this first Motex layer. And I'm going to go to create new material again. Right click same thing uh, not with a soft shadow and I think I'm gonna make this one a faded red color so I don't know why it's not letting me select it there oh. <laughs> that would explain it I'm gonna go to drag this down to the left to the red section and I'm going to come about right 
here at the top. And I'm going to go ahead and drag that to the outline. And as you can see, the outline is now red, the inside is gray. And make that a bit darker actually. Like so. And let's see how that looks. And it doesn't look pretty, but who really cares right now? Just a tutorial. Alright, so for this sake, let's press Control G. And I'm, I still forget that I'm not in Photoshop. So, select both of these layers. You can do that by clicking one, pressing Control, or you can click the top one. Hold shift and click the bottom one, or you can simply just use your mouse and drag over both of them. Now we're going to go up here to the MoGraph tab, go to Effector, and click the Group tab. Now we're going to click these, we're going to select our two text layers again and drag it into this group. Now they're basically a group, let's name that group text and we have our text group together now so if we were to add an, an effect to it they will both be altered so let's now go up here to I'm not sure what you call this tab but I'm gonna call it the effects tab probably the most logical thing to call it so let's go to our shatter here and we're going to take the shatter, we're going to drag it into the text layer above these two. As you can see, nothing happens. That's because the strength right now is at zero. So we're just going to put that up to about 50%, see how it looks. And it completely shatters it. Let's try 10. That doesn't look that bad. And you can play with it to your liking. Uh, as you can see it kind of just fades away so I'm gonna go to about maybe seven here I like how that looks and next I'm gonna go back to the effects tool I'm going to grab the explosion effects and also drag that into the text layer and you can see it does that there we're gonna go to the time here now with the time you can alter this by by tenths also so if I wanted to do 9.8 I'm allowed to do that you can't go to the hundredths though I don't think uh, you actually can so it really lets you control the time here so if I wanted to go to one see how that looks that doesn't look bad first let's go ahead and drag this right into the middle there of the U and let's just play with this and as you can see we don't want that much so let's stand this one right between uh, 0 and about 1.3 and let's see how it looks without it and you see how it, it adds that nice little breaking effect to it without the Razzie or Griebler so now I'm gonna go to explosion and turn the strength down to zero and it does absolutely nothing actually but the cluster here is basically that kind of breaking effect there if you take it to the negative it's gonna go to the back layers here and going to the positives it's gonna come back to the front and break this apart more and you can just play with that as much as you want uh, I think I'm gonna stick with about nine there 
Uh, let's add some variation to it. Didn't do much, but did a little. And that's pretty much it. We can see how this looks really quick. And it gives it a nice little breaking effect to it. Uh, pretty good, actually. Once you put it in Photoshop, edit it a bit. The effect can look rather nice. And this is just a quick tutorial on how to make a nice like breaking effect without the Razzie or Griebler. Uh, tutorials will be uploaded pretty frequently so go ahead and subscribe and like this video also try sharing it uh, just restarting this channel back up would like to get get it a lot more active a lot more active subscribers and thanks for watching guys hope this helped